gorgeous in Plato State in Northern Nigeria and today we are checking out the nightlife that is in Jos. Many of you already know that Lagos has some of the best nightlife but you also know that in Northern Nigeria you can also enjoy some of the best nightlife and that is what I'll be showing in this video. But I'm not alone, I'm here with a people, two people that look, have the same name and look the same look alike. <laughs> All right. Please introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Tuam Sen. Okay. I'm a filmmaker. Can you pronounce that name? Tuam Sen. Tuam Sen. I have been corrected like 25 times. <laughs> Tuam Sen. Okay, yeah. look at this guy's face. He will reappear there now. Tuam Sen. <laughs> he, has, he has reappeared there. The Twansen and Twansen. And they all look alike. Just that the hairstyle, that the haircut, that's the difference. Okay, so where are we? We are at Golden Bay Suya Sports. Okay. It's one of the biggest Suya Sports in Joss. Okay. Like we just came and we just found out that their meat was almost finished. Okay, and so this is just, uh, and to, just to 740. Eight. Okay. So, man, these guys get orders, man, which means they are doing something very well. So, I can really locate here if they get into Joss. Yeah, when you come to Joss, just from. We go down base roundabout. Okay. We just take um, two minutes drive and then it's by your left. By your left. You went too you far. You are from old airport because it's easy for from old airport you have to come down. Okay. Then you come to go down base. Okay. Okay. Well, you say you can use both. If you put that in both, yeah, yeah, you can yeah, bring it. Yeah. So if you get into Jaws, you just use both and then you can just find yourself here. So this is the first spot that we are checking out and right now we we'll ordered. What did we order? Suya and Masa. Okay, so we order Suya and Masa, so we're going to check that out. So Suya is like a roasted beef, alright? So those of you who don't know what Suya is, in this part of the country, we eat Suya a lot. It's a roasted beef, alright? So it is uh, one of the best street food that we eat here in Northern Nigeria. Alright, so we're going to check it out. And from here, we're going to check out the next spot. Mm. The suppose you come and learn uh, so you are making from us in Abuja. <laughs> come and learn. No. I think our area one master is better than this one. <laughs> Please, when you come to Abuja, take it to area one. Confirm. 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 Okay. Masa. Was not my first time seeing masa. Hmm? No. I don't know who's going to watch whether it's the first time I've seen masa. <laughs> <laughs> it's made from rice. This is made from rice. It's quite nice. You know this their their own is like this one is like bread. The way they made it is so soft. <laughs> Just like people mostly come by go and then sit down to eat. Spot where you really see people sit is that it's, it's too long. They will sit down there because they don't want to go. <laughs> Many men stroll back home drunk. <laughs> Done and dusted. Step one. We are done with this. So it's time to go and do step two, three, and four. We we'll see how many steps we can go today. I hope these guys came with Andrew Liver salt to push their tummy. The plan is not to eat as much. <laughs> <laughs> eat until you get tired. Let's try all the street food. Okay, let's go. All right, so it's time to try the second spot. We are done with the first spot. Try that suya and masa. So let's go check out other spots and see what we can try. By the way, this place looks really quiet and nice. And it's one place that probably if you are a couple which is coming to this is one of the places like if you're a couple who want to check out nightlife in just you should probably visit because it's kind of quiet and calm and very nice area too. So but if you're looking for a more uh, busy place. Let's check it out. After. 
This place is so dark, but we are currently at the old airport road. And at this point, you have lots of people selling uh, street food. Right now, we want to check out the pork meat. Right there, they're selling pork meat. And others are selling other kinds of food. Right there. So, old airport road. Right? That's the next place I check. And I wish it looks a little bit more busier than the first place that we are coming from. So, let's check out the pork meat. I, 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 I don't want to chop pork meat though. Ah, yeah. We're gonna get a <laughs> carry on, carry on. Which, which one is this one? That's this one is hot. No, it's hot. All of them is pork meat. And this one you say is how much? Okay, to 200. Everything, to 200. I know, I know, I say everything like one, one, one. This man and go school where well, though. This man and go school where well. She said sharp. She said each stick. If I carry everything, 200. <laughs> Somebody, if you don't do it, <laughs> <laughs> everything 200. Say yes. Okay. Hmm? So I do him down. The test is different from that other one. Yep. I think this one is sweeter. Yes. Mm -hmm. What is the best meat in the world? What no, do you expect? No, it's a place to eat. It's a place to eat. It's a It tastes better. It's better than that one. Maybe mommy added something. Did you add something to it? I did prepare them. Just she, cook, she, cook, she, cook, she, cook, she, cook she, and cook and cook and that's all. Cook it with love, right? Like cook it. Yeah. You roast the cook and the goose and you love. They love, love. Love get, love get the uh, ingredient. <laughs> <laughs> Down there. Yeah, this is how it works. Bar bounce. How you say your range? How many? 300. 300. Uh, put that now. Yeah, 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 Booty! Scam <laughs> business man, why they vest like this? Ah, ah. <laughs> put, put, why you don't pay? Cut, now, cut. This might get hot tempo. <laughs> Be soldier. Make it they calm down here. Yeah? Don't do. Thank you. One is uncle mouths. Okay. Yeah. Okay, these are dog meat, but uh, you can see a lot of it. Is it your dog meat? Is it your fab? Okay, move. Go. What would they, they come back? Uh, maybe like, maybe like, they're excited about them. <laughs> no, we are testing. We are testing everything. Okay, to do one and get them. Okay, we will go that side. We we'll eat them for that side. I'm not getting money to pay. I'll tell you. That's the fastest move. You don't got to start from that test. Let me test. Test. 
Yeah. What is nice. Get last. Yeah. The bigger was the last. Get small one, or only be big ones. There, oh. that's the biggest one. Six five. Let's go. Six again. Okay, hit you two hundred naira. How's one? Oh my! Oh my! Oh my! Can you get you 200 there? Nah, it's not bad. Okay, it's not bad. Okay. <laughs> Like it. It's what people don't like. You like it, don't worry. Because no, they, no, I'm not saying that has not happened to you. I want to be part of the country we're suffering it too. But I like seeing it. See. They like seeing it. Guy, Do you know the amount of money we the spend? Money they spend eh? When you somebody houses, that guy's house, that you have to build houses. houses. When somebody yeah. die, you don't cry that he has died. You cry for the money one. <laughs> this guy's are burying their mother. They killed like how many cows? Of course not. I know the thing is that it becomes a competition. Yes. Yeah. And you know, if you don't do it well, yes, if you don't do it well, it will be a, la it will be a laughing stock yes. for you. Everybody's going to be talking about it. You will build out, kill yeah, different yeah. cows, and do all kinds of We will come back for this fish show. We will come back. Where, Daddy? Kaya now. Kaya the Azu now. Now, I can go and build out Ramela. I can go and build Mommy, I can go and here for how many? No question now, come on as they go already now. Suppose done done. What you supposed to do now just to fire them up, make hot, that's what. But this is like say that the frying now and I can't even start. Night hunting on fish. Mm. I mean, if you can't just look at it to answer, <laughs> go buy fish. Oh. <laughs> now, only I go know where I go take, where you go pull and chop the fish. Where finish. Buy the meat. We did the buy fish, you don't see anyone. <laughs> uh -huh. You try. Uh -huh. The man try. 
not hard for them now. My business. Anything legal, right? So <laughs> that's nice. So um, we are here at your place. Um, can you tell us about the place? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I have to be one year on Sunday. Wow. We are going to be one year. On Sunday. So we'll be celebrating like massively, bringing in artists from Lagos and all that. So, but uh, Hideout is a beautiful place whereby you come enjoy yourself. I'm a music man, so you know how it is. We do we do our karaoke, we do our palm wine uh, Saturday. Palm wine Saturday is uh, um, it's all about palm wine, uh, palm wine and then live band for high life music strictly. And then we have uh, the, the local the local reggae mix for that day. You know, so it's 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 a very very beautiful place where you enjoy yourself. Sundays we do events back to back. So we invite comedians, musicians. They come to do of uh, events. Dancers come around to do things, and then we have a lot of games: table tennis, PS4, the the dara, the chairs, you know, so and the snooker and all that cool. So we do a lot of things here. We have the grills. We have uh, we do beer. We do we do non-alcoholics. We do Arabian tea. We do Italian tea. We do shisha. Of things. So. Uh, we're into good life. In two months' time, we're going to be launching our club. Like we're going to be starting the club here, so it's going to be super amazing. Yeah, so it's, wow. so it's, it's a place you're going to enjoy yourself. You know, so we're not too expensive, though. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Yes. You know, Most of my staff here are uh, entertainer, entertainment. Sorry. So I I employ them because I have a studio here too, record studio. Whereby they work in the morning, they do their recordings, and then later in the evening they do their their own work. So I try to, to make sure I get young and agile people that are ready to 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 do their best. Because I was I was I don't know how it was in the street, so I had to just bring them up. And then um, most of some of the guys again are people that they were into drugs and all that. We had to bring them and then give them jobs and then make sure we stop them from whatever they're doing. Bring them close, show them the love and all that. See a lot of people, meet a lot of people. Even though we do alcoholics here, but yeah, this environment I don't I don't allow anything drugs anything my marijuana whatever it is i don't accept that so i i, I try to make sure i get those uh, guys in the streets put them together put them a job most of them are just depressed they don't really have what to do so i have to look for those guys to, to pack them and get them whatever they want to do and that's all so, and then most of them are graduates like the guy behind taking care of the pool he's a graduate of uh that's investor of just so want to do something like that okay come can you accept the salary? He said, ah, that's big. So we, that's, that's just what I'm doing. Most of my staffs are graduates. And then some of them are people from the street. So that's how I, I run my thing. 